Hi, my name is Alex and I'm a co-founder of VidSwap.com. I'd like to take you through a quick run-through of everything VidSwap.com has to offer for volleyball. To put it simply, you upload your game data to us and we break it down for all the volleyball situations within 12 to 24 hours, or usually by the time you wake up the next day. Think of us as your video assistant. We literally save you hundreds of hours per season so you can get back to what you do best, coaching. VidSwap allows you to easily collaborate and share your breakdowns and analysis with your entire team from any browser and iOS device. And this is one of my favorite parts is the mobile access. So every time you go on the road, our iOS app has offline support. So you can use analysis in the palm of your hand, whether you're on a bus, on a plane, in the locker room, in a hotel meeting room, or wherever you might be where Wi-Fi just isn't available. So let's do a quick rundown again. We do all of the breakdowns for you within 12 to 24 hours, or usually by the time you wake up the next day. And out of the box, without any extra work, your breakdowns are all online, allowing you to collaborate with your entire coaching staff and share with your entire team. And last, our mobile application, our iOS app, is amazing. And its offline features will leave you wondering just why you ever did it before without VidSwap. So now let's take a quick look inside our application so we can demonstrate some of our features. So once you're logged into your account, you have a dashboard. And on this dashboard, you have some applications. You've got a videos area, and this is where you'll upload and manage all of your games, practices, scout games, training videos, or anything that you want to be able to edit and share with your entire team. And all of the game analysis is located in here. Your documents is where you can upload things like playbooks, scanner reports, practice plans, and stat sheets that you may want to share with your team. Your highlights is where you can manage video presentations that you'd like to use for film sessions, or you can create team and individual player highlights that you want to use for evaluation. Your roster is where you'll give login access to your entire team, your coaches and your players, so they can then analyze video from their PCs and their iOS devices. The help section is where you can learn how to use many of our great features or ask for help. And then the top right corner is your account information where you can manage your login, subscription info, and your breakdown credits. Now let's cover the video area and the main features of the analysis. So on the right hand side, this is your playlist window where all of your games, scout games, practices, training videos, this is where these are all managed, uploaded, and organized right in here. And these checkboxes next to these games allow you to do multi-game analysis across a multiple uh, number of games uh, that you may want to pull situations out and look for tendencies. You can resize each one of these windows to fit your screen. You can minimize them as well, again, to fit what you're trying to do or who you're in front of. The video player has all the playback controls you'll need. It's got play, pause, slow motion, fast forward, a step forward and backwards five seconds button. The bottom row of keys on your keyboard are the keyboard shortcuts to control your playback controls. Whenever you come to a coaching moment, you can always pause the video and then you can draw on screen. When we get to the highlights, I'll show you how you can actually add telestrations and annotations that you can save for later. The bottom down here is now your timeline editor. And normally you're going to bypass this and you're going to click right in your filter here where you can start pulling up plays and situations. Well, let's quickly cover how this timeline works and why it's important. So now when we break down your game of the timeline here, Keep in mind that on top of the tags we're doing for you, you can still add your own tags in addition to what we've done. So you've got full edit control to add additional uh, data sets. Okay. Um, but now what you'll see here is that each row represents a situation that we're tagging. Uh, so in volleyball, we're tagging the match set. We're tagging the rallies. We're also tagging information about each one of these. So we're going to be tagging 
who uh, is serving the rally and who won the rally. We're tagging the serves, who's serving the result of the serve. We're tagging all the digs. We're tagging all the sets and whether or not they were assists or not. And again, any results or errors. We're tagging any attacks. And again, results of those attacks, whether they were kills or not, any errors. And then we're also tagging blocks. Okay. So now you'll see on this timeline that each one of these instances then represents when these events are happening throughout the game or the match. All right. And so what this timeline really allows you to be able to do is it gives you a lot of granularity to be able to dive into specific situations and watch those. So if you want to pull up just your serves where you were serving or serves that you won a point on, you can pull up just those serves to evaluate those. If you want to pull up entire rallies, you can pull up entire rallies. If you want to pull up entire uh, sets, you can pull up an entire set. If you want to pull up just individual um, attacks or kills, or again, any individual event, you can do that. And so that's where this timeline really starts to shine, is that not only can you pull out big things, but you can also pull out individual little smaller events that you want to be able to use and evaluate and then show your players in film sessions. Now let's go ahead and click into the filter here and talk about that. So the filter again is where you're going to spend most of your time and this is where you can start to pull up situations. Okay, So we can go to our rallies here and we can see all of um, rallies that were uh, won by Minnesota. I can apply that, pull up all these situations here now where Minnesota won these rallies. And I can then go through this list, watch all of these rallies uh, that Minnesota won. Okay, I can look at all the rallies serving Minnesota or maybe serving the opponent, Duke. I can go back to my filter and change it up. Maybe I want to just look at serves. So I can click on serves and take a look at all of Minnesota's serves. Or maybe I want to look at all of Minnesota's aces. I can look at that. I can go back and look at all of a, a team's digs, all of Minnesota or maybe Duke's digs. I can go to my attacks here. Maybe I want to pull up all of... Um, Minnesota's kills, so I can choose Minnesota and their kills, and I apply that. Now it pulls up all Minnesota kills uh, throughout the match here, and so you can see now in the in the filter, you can pull up pretty much any type of situation that you want to to use and evaluate. And again, the great thing is that it's going to pull up just that event. It'll pull up just that kill that you're looking for, just that serve, or just that dig, or just that set, just those smaller events that you want to be able to use for those teaching moments. Now when you get to the point when you want to create highlights from your, from your matches and games, what you can do is when you want to go into film sessions and maybe you want to put together a, a highlight of your 15 or 20 or so plays or situations that you want to cover with your players, you can use the star column right here then to star a play, to add it, add it to a highlight you already have or create a brand new one. Okay. We create stats on every game so you can click on your stats button and pop up your stats that show you your scoring, all of your attack statistics, set statistics, serves, receptions, your defense, and your blocking. So a wide amount of um, statistical data that gives you a really good insight on what's going on. Now in our highlights here, this is where you can manage those highlight presentations that you want to use for your film sessions or for individual players or for end of the year type highlights. And now once you're in here, you've got uh, your highlights and so I'm in uh, an example highlight that we created here and now uh, we can do a couple things to it we can add descriptions so play labels coach comments whatever you want to add to these make them more relevant we can add annotations and illustrations that we want to save so I can click here and I could draw freehand draw I can add circles and squares I can add arrows to demonstrate path of a player I can add text to anywhere that I want to make these more relevant, to point something out about this to players, uh, and then I can save these for later. So now whenever a player or a coach comes in and watches this particular highlight, these coaching points will pop up and show those players what they need to know. Highlights can be shared with anybody outside of the team as well. So if you want to share a highlight with a scout, recruiter, a uh, college official, a um, anybody that you want to send it to that's not a part of your program, you can go to file and you can actually email links to anybody outside of your program that you want to. These highlight clips that you're creating are also downloadable. So if you ever want to pull these clips out, 
drop them into some other editor, iMovie, Final Cut, whatever it might be, you can do that. Drop these clips maybe in a PowerPoint presentation or whatever you need to do. You can download these out of the system uh, and then use those however you need to. We've jumped back to your videos now and I wanted to point out that you do have full edit control. So if you ever want to add more tags, additional tags what we've done already, you can click into your tag manager, add any sort of additional custom tagging that you'd like to add either to things that we've already done or brand new sets of clips that you want to be able to pull out that maybe don't fall with anything that we've done for you. Now let's take a quick look at my favorite part of our application is our iOS application. So our app is available for both the iPad and the iPhone. It's, it's free in the App Store, so all of your coaches and players can download it. And once I'm logged in, I've got my dashboard where I can then click right into my videos and then it's going to mirror what I've got online. So I can then click into a game, I can start to watch it and interact with it. Again, one thing that's very important about our iOS app is the fact that you can download video into the app. So you can download these videos, these highlights into the app to take with you when you're offline, whether you're in a bus, an airplane, a, uh, a locker room, out in a gym somewhere, uh, in a hotel meeting room, wherever you might be where you just don't have internet access. And then you can plug this iPad right into a projector, right into a big screen TV, and do your film sessions from it. So let's take a quick look once we tap into a game here. I can tap into it. I've got full playback controls on the right and left hand sides here. Uh, so I can control slow motion, fast forward, all that kind of stuff. Um, I can even change the controls at the bottom if I want to control it with just one hand. Whenever you get to a coaching moment, you can pause the video and you can then you can draw on screen with your finger really easy. And then when you press play, it removes that. On the top right corner is my filter, so I can clip it, clip, I can tap up into my filter there, and then I can start to pull up situations just like I can online. So I can choose maybe all of the rallies serving Minnesota where they won. And then I can go back and now I can watch all of these rallies that Minnesota was serving and all the rallies that they had won. Okay, I can go back to my filter and change it to any other situation that I want to look at. Okay, I've also got my statistics so I can click on those and view my stats on this game as well. I can go back to my dashboard and I can take a look at my highlights and I can either again stream or download any of the highlights that I've created here. I can tap into those. And then I can pop those up and then again use this if I'm in a film meeting with my players, wherever it might be. Uh, and then we can go over this particular presentation um, on the situations that need to be covered. So all in all, the great thing about the iPad app, uh, the iOS app, is that it's available both on the iPad and on the iPhone. And it's got offline capabilities, so you can download video and highlights into the app to use when you're offline wherever you are. And it's a really great app, really simple to use. And for you coaches who've got your iPads and your iPhones with you wherever you go, it's just fantastic to be able to take that video, uh, that analysis with you on the go, wherever you are, because most of us have our iPads and iPhones with us wherever we go anyways, as it is. So, In conclusion, that's a really quick look at Bitswap.com for volleyball, where we break down your matches for you. If you'd like a more in-depth presentation, please contact us at sales at Bitswap.com.